Welcome to Mongeo Spatial Tutorials. Our goal is provide high quality training opportunities for geospatial professionals. We know the importance of Google Earth and its high resolution imagery. Sometimes we like to use this imagery to create updated vector data. In this tutorial, you will see how to digitize vector data directly in Google Earth and import them in QGIS to save them finally as Shapa files. The example data digitized in this tutorial are buildings as polygons, streets as lines and stocks as points. First, in Google Earth, localize the area which you want to digitize. Then, in the Places area, right-click to add a new folder for Polygon features, put a name for the folder and press OK. In the toolbar, select New Polygon Tool. Then, draw the building boundaries. Set a name for the polygon, and press OK. This is our first feature. Now, add new polygons with the same way. You can edit the feature, by click right on the feature, and choose Proprieties. You can now move and edit drawings. So we digitize polygon features. Now, we will digitize street lines features with the same way, add a new lines folder, in the toolbar. Select New Path Tool, choose a color for the line features. Then, set the width. Click on the map, and draw the first street line. Then press OK, draw the other lines.
Now, we will digitize points features. First, add a new points folder. For example, we will localize stocks as points features. Select the Place Mark tool in the toolbar. Click on the map to add the point. Then set the stock name. Then press OK. Now, we have three folders, polygons, lines, and points. We are going to export them into KML format. First, in the desktop, create a new folder. In this folder, we will save exported KML files. Right-click on the polygons folder, then, save place as. Select KML type, then put buildings as name. Also, save the other folders as KML. In the next step, open QGIS. We will import save KML files. Click on the Add Vector Layer icon. Browse. And select each KML file. The features are added to the map. Create a new folder where the SHAPA files will be saved. Then, right-click on the Polygons layer. And select, Save As. Choose SHAPA files as format, then browse to set the folder. Do the same for the other layers.
Select and delete KML layers. You can display labels for each layer. Finally, this is our map with Shapify file layers. You can do the same steps to digitize any kind of data on Google Earth. I hope my tutorial was clear. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our blog. Thank you for watching.